Hey guys, what's up everybody? I want to take a minute to talk about dog movies. Who loves dog movies? I sure do. So, there's a couple dog movies that we got that we can talk about. There's Blue's Big City Adventure. Let me swing that around for you. Blue's Big City Adventure. Now, here's this one. Blue's Big City Adventure. There's Clifford. There's Clifford the Big Red Dog. The live action movie. There's the Blu-ray. Blu and here's the DVD. DVD right here. And then here is Blue's Big Musical Movie. It's Blue's Clues. And then this is um, Dora's Musical Day, School Days, Dora the Explorer with Boots the Monkey. I know he's not a dog, but he's Boots the Monkey. And I like to think of Boots as a chimpanzee. That's the type of monkey he is. And I love chimpanzees. And Periwinkle's a cool cat. He's a white cat with blue stripes. That's the coolest kind of cat I've ever seen. So you got those. And Clifford is a red dog. Hence, Clifford the big red dog. So, we got those. And we got Dora the Explorer. Halloween Adventure. This file day Halloween. Feliz Halloween. Which, if I take this out and spin it around... has nothing on it. I thought it had the thing on the back, but it does not. It does not have the thing on there where you can like take it out and have the reversible cover where it says what the title actually would be in English, unfortunately. But I think it's like Dora's Halloween Adventure or something. And, um, so yeah. So you got that. And you got, um, Tico as a little Halloween monster. You got M Map as a purple map. And you got a tree. And, um,. You got Map as a green pirate over here. So there's like two maps. Then you got Backpack. And you got Boots as a space rocket ship. Kind of crayon pencil thingy. Um, and Dora as a bumblebee. And we all remember the song. I'm gonna catch a baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I'm gonna catch a baby bumblebee. Ouch! He stung me! From Barney. So, yeah, she's dressed as a little bumblebee. We don't want to catch Dora when she's dressed like a baby bumblebee. She'll sting us. Although, Dora seems pretty nice. Maybe she's a nice bumblebee. But um, let's go ahead and get right in to this and talk about the movies. So, what do I think? Blue's Big City Adventure. Well, I fucking love this movie. This is the best adaptation for Blue's Clues for the older fans that are like 
18 and up to like 28 or like 28 to like 48 or 52. Like the really older Blues Clues fans. Because you got Steven here. You got Donovan Patton. You got Blue. And you got Josh, the new one. And it has the original hosts. You got Mr. Salt. You got Tickety. And you got a new character. Who we've come to know as Rainbow Puppy by now in Blues Clues and You. And Rainbow Puppy, if you look at him... He reminds me a lot of a character from Blue's Room in the original Blue's Clues, like season five or six. If y'all are to remember a character named Sprinkles, who is Blue's baby brother. If we all remember, Blue had a baby brother. And so if you remember Blue's brother, it was Sprinkles. And his name was Sprinkles. And that looks a lot like Sprinkles to me. Because Sprinkles was white with rainbow polka dots. So. Rainbow polka dots. And. That is basically. Where. I think. They're trying to incorporate a new character. And. Make it be. That he sprinkles. I'm just not calling him sprinkles. And that he or she is Blue's baby brother. Sprinkles from the original show. I'm just thinking this is like sprinkles too. I'm hinting that like I think in a way to try to, to connect to the original show. I'm just thinking. I think it is Sprinkles. Because it looks a lot like. Sprinkles. And. Just the way. Rainbow Puppy's character is. It reminds me a lot of Sprinkles character. And there was the Blue's Clues special. Blue's Clues. Blue's Room. Meet Blue's baby brother. And. I just, I mean, Blue's brother, Sprinkles, had so much energy, was very musical and, like, very, like, giddy and just had so much life to him when we first met Sprinkles. And that's how I feel Rainbow Puppy is, just full of life and just all this positive energy. So I feel like it has to be Sprinkles. Rainbow Puppy has to be Sprinkles. So you have all these uh, all these original characters returning for a big movie where they go to New York City to get Josh auditioned to be cast in this musical that Rainbow Puppy is producing. And along the way, they reunite with Steve and Joe. And Joe has... The pleasure of owning the present store. And Steve became a detective. And Josh is playing Blue's Clues Blue. So overall, I think this is a really good way to bring back um, old characters. And do like a reunion. Because... It just feels so genuine that after all these years, they can make a 15-minute movie with even adult humor. There was adult humor in this for us adults that were original fans of the original show when we were like two and now we're all like a lot older. I'm 28 and I grew up with the show when I was like two. Or five when I first started watching it because I was born in 94. My birthday was 8 1 1994, and I just can't believe they did such amazing work here. Look at that, bringing this all together and giving us 
a movie that we can be so proud of that comes to our expectations of what the fans really want to see for a Boys Clues reunion. So, I'm very proud to say that I'm very happy this came about because it's very, very good. And it reminds me a lot of the old Boys Clues. And speaking of the old Blues Clues, I grew up with the original Blues Clues movie. And the original Blues Clues movie has a special place in my heart because it was the first Blues Clues movie, and it's the movie with Steve. So it has a special place in my heart. And... It's with Perry Winkle, which is um, Hayden Panettiere's brother, who sadly passed away due to an illness. And he is the original voice of Perry Winkle. And um, it breaks my heart that he's no longer with us. Because it would be cool if he got to come back and voice Perry Winkle's kid or an older Perry Winkle or something. It would just be really, really cool if Hayden Panettiere's brother got to do that. If he got to come back and do that. Because Hayden Panettiere, she's a great actress. but And I really like her. But his, her brother did such a great job voicing him. Voicing per, Perry Winkle. He was the best. On the original show. And I don't get me wrong. I still like Perry Winkle. On the new show. But. There's nothing. You can't tell me that. You can't go wrong with the old Perry Winkle. You gotta solo the old Perry Winkle. Because he was the best. And then. Doors musical days. School days basically reminds me of Dora basically hopping on the magic school bus and she's going on a fun trip ride and she's Miss Frizzle 